What is going on everybody, jscar99 here, back with another video. This is the Black Ops 2 Best Weapons. Now obviously we're going to kick it off with the AN-94. Um, I don't need to explain why this is one of the best guns in the game. Everybody knows the AN-94. It's one of the best assault rifles of all time. Everybody knows it. Everyone uses it. Everyone bought it. This is the one to get. And upgraded the actuated neutralizer 94,000. It is so good. And what makes this assault rifle so good is not only is it one of the better assault rifles up there power wise with the galil and such it's a wall buy which means obviously you can buy ammo for it whenever you need ammo and that makes it so much better because think of like if the galil was a wall buy like everybody would run their galil like obviously people love getting the galil anyway but imagine how much better it would be if you could just buy ammo for it whenever you want and that what makes that's what makes the an 94 amazing and that's why a lot of people love it because it's such a easy to get weapon i mean on barry you just jump down you know do a couple things you get the wall by put it wherever you want you can put it you can wall by literally wherever you want and buried and then on uh die rise i couldn't tell you where it's at. i don't play enough die rise but the an 94 top tier weapon it's like a galil but basically just as good as a galil if not a little better or a tiny bit worse but it's a wall by which makes it so much better so, but yeah, that is why the A94 is phenomenal. But next, we're going to go to my favorite weapon of all time. That is the SVUAS sniper rifle. I love this sniper so much. It is so good. It is so, so good upgraded. And I, people always say the DSR is better. Nah, SVU all the way. This thing, this thing up at the Shadow Veil Utilizer. Oh, here's a prime example of why the SVU is phenomenal. literal sex so good it is such a good gun um without um the headshot multiplier perma perk it is a one shot headshot to like i think 40s or something like that i don't know it's good but with uh the headshot multiplier perma perk that you can get on some maps it makes it makes like a one shot to mid high 40s and then once you get to 50s like a two shot but that's not that big of a deal. You have a good amount of ammo. And once again, it is a wall buy, which means you can get ammo for it whenever you want. This thing is so good. You can get like six kills a bullet. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazing. Super high damage, super high fire rate, amazing accuracy. It's a wall buy, good amount of ammo. Like it's just, it's good in every way. It's good in every single way. It's basically the DSR, slightly less damage, but a much higher fire rate. And I'm pretty sure it has significantly more ammo. That is why I think the SVU is the best sniper of all time in Treyarch. But overall, like of all the auto out of all the weapons, it's my favorite because it's I've never had a problem with SVU. It's always good. It's always been good. And it takes you to a very high round. Now if you have a four player team of these, oh, you're going 50 plus easy on buried. Such a good weapon. But that's enough about the SVU. Now let's get into the Galil. Now <clears throat> The Galil, um, I mean, we've talked about the Galil before. We talked about it in Black Ops 1, how it's one of the best ARs of all time, and shockingly enough, it literally hasn't changed. It's still one of the best assault rifles in Black Ops 2. Um, I couldn't tell you the differences in damage and fire rate and whatnot. I don't really know. I don't really care, because regardless, it's still very good. So... That's all we really care about. But in Black Ops 2, one thing I love about it is when you upgrade it, you can get random sights, random reticles. And you can obviously repack a punch it and change the reticles. You can do that with a lot of weapons. And the Galil is just so satisfying getting like a really unique reticle. I don't know, it's so stupid, but it's just, it's one thing that just adds to it that just makes it so unique. And the Galil is obviously um, coming off of a nostalgic PO1 another great assault rifle to have because one you just feel like wow i got the og b01 galil but then also i have the cool uh new like um not customization but kind of like uniqueness uh that comes from black ops 2 when you pack a punch um ammo wise it does have a really good amount of ammo um phenomenal weapon damage wise obviously still great i mean it's the same as black ops 1 i mean i mean I don't have to describe it too much. It's literally the same thing, essentially. It's just a lot cooler. <laughs> it's cooler looking, so. But, um, 
Another thing about the Galil then compare with the AN94 is that the Galil and the AN are essentially the same weapon. I mean, honestly, they kind of feel the same damage wise. Like I've heard people say one's better than the other, but when I look at it, I mean, they seem relatively the same. I can't really notice much of a difference. The Galil might have a higher damage, maybe, but I think that's in uh, in part because it's a box weapon. So we know it's more exclusive, so it has to be a little better, you know? Otherwise, what's the point? So like why get a slightly worse weapon from the box that I can't get ammo for, or I can get a slightly better weapon that I can just buy off the wall, you know? So um, I do think that the Galil is better uh damage wise but the an94 overall i think takes it over because of the fact that it has wall ammo, wall ammo you could buy ammo for it. and the galil you can't do that so i will say the an94 in black ops 2 an94 is better than the galil but the galil is still a phenomenal assault rifle to get so don't get upset if you get it now speaking of snipers we talked about the svu now we got to talk about the dsr the dsr 50 i mean i know i think the svu is better but my goodness, the DSR is good. Now, the DSR is nowhere near as fast as the SVU, nor is it a wall buy. So, like, oh, well, then why would you ever get the DSR? Well, I don't, this one kind of helps it, uh, the customization of it. So, when you repap the DSR, you can get a silencer on it, which adds literally nothing to the game. It does nothing. It's no reason for it whatsoever, but it's cool. But then if you upgrade it again, you can get the iron sights, which is so cool to have. I, it's so stupid. It adds nothing. Again, doesn't change your damage or accuracy. It's just cool having an iron sight. But the DSR-50, its FMJ is unreal. So the SVU can shoot like, I mean, you can probably kill four or five zombies per shot easily. The DSR, you could easily kill like six, seven like per shot if you obviously they have to be lined up but oh my gosh this thing is just a beast this has so much damage it has it does have higher damage than the svu but what it what it makes up for in damage it loses in fire rate which is kind of what hurts it for the most part um if you are camping with it uh it's not the best thing in the world i, mean, I know i do it in this video but it's only around 25 and you, you watch, uh, I actually almost like get boofed a few times because it's just, I can't shoot fast enough because it's one of those things where you have a horde coming. If you miss a shot or say one shot only kills one zombie rather than my plan of killing three or four. Now I have a lot, now I, like, I can't, like, I can't shoot fast enough. Now as for you, if I miss, I could just spam it and clear the entire hallway. The DSR, I, you can't just spam. And uh, the reload speed on the DSR actually is relatively decent, I will say. Uh, the SV, I think it's actually faster than the SVU, which is kind of surprising, but I don't know. Uh, the DSR is, I mean, great. It's not a wall weapon, though, which hurts it, but it's one of those, again, it's one of those nostalgic weapons that you get and you're like, yeah, like you just got the DSR. And it, there, there is something unique about sniping zombies there's really like no benefit to it, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> and if you get the sniper multiplier, you can actually get 300 extra bullets, sorry, extra bullets, 300 extra points per headshot, which is insane. You can also get a headshot multiplier. The, the, the perma perks you can get with snipers are pretty unreal, which is why I love the DSR and SVU. But now we're gonna go to a map exclusive weapon, the Remington New Model Army. Now the Remington ammo wise, it's, it's, it's pretty decent. I mean, it's a pistol, keep in mind, so it's not going to walk around with 700 bullets. But for a pistol, it has a pretty decent amount of ammo. And upgraded, it's called the Sassafras, and I love that name so much. I don't know, it's just a goofy name. But it's it being the revolver and being on the map Baird, it just feels so right having it. And this thing really is really good. Obviously, you're not going to be carrying this thing until round, like, 50 60 but i mean it's a pistol so it's not going to walk around with sniper damage however given it is a pistol it has pretty good damage it's a one shot headshot until i think like 29 30 which is pretty good for a pistol and ammo wise it's relatively decent again it's only on buried so you can run a scavenger or a vulture shade if you want to call it and you can get uh, ammo from zombies and pick it up and it can help you kind of refill your ammo given that the pistol doesn't have a lot of ammo in the world and it, uh, yes it uh, given it's map exclusive it doesn't have a doesn't have a wall buy which hurts it 
but still this thing is so good and it's so satisfying to use and it's very fast it's one of those guns you could spam shoot it you could it has a really fast reload it's very it's one of my favorite pistols of all time it's phenomenal has really good range it's overall phenomenal pistol and it's just a good one to have especially because it's unburied and it just it fits the map perfectly but speaking of pistols we're going to go to the executioner the executioner is another pistol that stands out amongst the rest now i wouldn't recommend using the executioner to go to like super high rounds it's not that good but it's one of those weapons that if you get in a if you get in a pickle it can get you out it is a one shot it's a one shot till like 30s like the like low low 30s um it depends where you shoot them it's a it's not going to be a guaranteed one shot, but for the most part, it's a one shot. Uh, if you watch the video here, uh, most of my shots are one shots. I'll occasionally get a two shot. Uh, it's 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 uh, how many like pellets hit the zombie? You know, if you if you shotgun and out of the ten pellets, eight of it hits the zombie, it'll die. If like six, it won't die, but it'll be super close. Like right here, um, you just spam it, and you can kill everything in front of you. It's such a good weapon to get you out of pickles, get you out of corner, get you. You know, you're running through the maze or you're running through something like sec tight and you have a zombie, you can just spam it and kill it. It's a really good weapon to get you out of sticky situations. Um, it's ammo wise, really good. It has really good amount of ammo. It's reload speed, it's pretty decent. The having to reload one bullet at a time is a little annoying when you are in a tight situation because the amount of times I actually would uh, uh, reload and then I guess I accidentally hit RT one too many times, like right there. I only reloaded one bullet. And it almost it almost got me killed uh, that happened to me a few times actually and I mean I might just be bad so I mean you guys are probably good so I'm just not gonna say anything about it but I, I never used executioner that much but I will say that it is a pretty good gun overall damage wise is very for a pistol again very good damage ammo wise very good obviously mobility it's great it's a pistol um, the Everything about it is just great. It's on a, it's on most maps, if not every map on Black Ops 2. I don't. It's never a wall buy, which hurts it. But it being on every map, it means it's very. It can go anywhere, so you can get on any map. Remington, you can only get on buried, which is why the executioner does uh, is up here with the Remington because it's very universal. Now, now we're gonna go to another map exclusive weapon, the Mauser. The Mauser obviously off it's starting room pistol so off spawn it's not that good i mean what do you expect it's like the 1911 it's not good like i mean i'm not gonna explain it so it's not very good the pistol however upgraded like the 1911 becomes an absolute beast it becomes the boom hilda and mixed with the bo2 pack punch camo uh yeah it's a good one the downfall of it, again, like the Mustang and Sally, low ammo. You get 150 bullets, which isn't the worst thing in the world because actually when you shoot this gun, it's like a laser beam that can actually penetrate through zombies. It can kill multiple zombies with one bullet. However, with that being said, ammo is still a problem. Now watch this thing boof a panzer. Boof. It just, it melts panzers which is one great thing about it. This is, when you're doing an Easter egg run, I will say the Boom Hilda is a gun that you almost will always get. Cause one, it's just, you always you always get it. So it's guaranteed every time. You can pack punch it and it's a quick weapon. You can run fast with it, shoot fast with it. The fire rate on this thing is unreal. You can shoot as fast as you want with this gun and it can melt panzers in seconds. And when it comes to killing zombies, again, if you're doing the Easter egg, this thing will never not kill. It never will. This will take you, I've gone to like, the, like 40s 50s and it's like a two three shot headshot which is really good for a pistol ammo does hurt it and you can't and you can't really get ammo for it however overall this pistol is probably one of the best pistols of all time absolutely phenomenal pistol great weapon in every aspect except you can't buy ammo now again with map exclusive we're going to talk about probably the best assault rifle of all time when it comes to damage and that's the scar this thing is a beast man it's just an absolute beast and again mixed with the bo2 pap camo it's just so good and this is just like the galil where if you pap it multiple times you can change the sight and the reticle um the gun damage wise i mean right there just melts them it melts everything i know it's only around 17 but 
trust me this thing absolutely melts i don't even have double tap yet <laughs> like keep in mind i don't have double tap yet and it's still like a three shot kill now with double tap this would be one shotting i would kill the panzer in half the amount of bullets the scar is so good ammo wise has a great amount of ammo damage wise phenomenal damage mobility i mean it's an ar so you have ar movements i see the one thing again that hurts it is it's not a wall gun but i'm not gonna let that hurt the scar because oh my gosh this thing is good it is if it were a wall weapon it would be the best assault rifle in call of duty history in my opinion it would be so broken it would be so broken but they ha i guess they had to like bounce it a little bit i mean i don't make the rules but if i did it'd be a wall buy now this thing is just i mean it's round 20 and i'm one shotting with it like i don't think as far as i know other ars can't do that as far as i know i mean i i've played a lot with the an and the galil at round 20 i don't think i'm almost certain they can't do that so yeah overall scar phenomenal assault rifle i mean no other way to put it um but that's it for this video black ops 3 will be hopefully coming out this saturday i'm sorry for the delay for this video i've been super busy and there's a lot of weapons of black ops 2 that were good and i'm not really excited for black ops 3 because again a lot of great weapons but thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to get all these out, but I'm so busy. Um, I'm, I'm trying to do other videos as well. So just uh, keep in touch. Uh, keep posted. Subscribe. Like the video. Help the support. Appreciate it. You can come to my Twitch channel if you'd like to ask questions. But yeah, hopefully to see you in the next video for the best weapons of Black Ops 3. Thank you and have a good one.